Vault your mine. Fall doings, 2004 Time West Humbug. myself a big long walk. Clear. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out. Really appreciate the, uh, the support, the turnout, and, and uh, you know, kind of smells a little bit over here like PBC, but I think we'll, yeah, they we'll make it pass. Uh, <laughs> one that we, there is a DPBC I'd like to recognize, especially DBCPU. He actually <laughs> was here in time to help dig the hole and set the plaque. So, uh, big satisfactory to you. Thank Thanks God for right. help. P.U. <laughs> 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 you yeah. uh, I'd like to take a moment to recognize a few of the dignitaries that are, that are here today. This, this doings, we have, I think, more ex-humbugs than we've had at a doings since I've been a clamper anyway. And uh, you got uh, X Sublime over here, Frank <coughs> Odek. You got a X Humbug, Frank Chedister behind him. <coughs> you got uh, Stan Yardis, X Humbug back here. You got Jack Johnson, another X Humbug back here. You got Ron, Ron Jones, another Humbug back there. You got Angelo, <laughs> right here. <laughs> 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 Hiding the shade there. <laughs> uh, you got Jimmy, Jimmy Phillips here, another another ex, and Dorsal over here, another ex on bug. I miss anybody? Is that everybody? Marty? I'd like to make a comment. I thought all the exes were in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> well, they came out here for just for this today. Well, thank, thank you guys for coming. We, we got I, I appreciate it. We got an excess of exes. Excess of exes. Yeah. <laughs> well, when you said you were going to comp all the exes, we don't feel bad. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> uh, well, the, the reason we're here today is to uh, dedicate this, this uh, the vul to Vulture Mine. We've got a plaque here for him. And uh, uh, the Vulture was the largest uh, gold producing mine in Arizona. Um, it was active, uh, well, it was discovered in 1863. <coughs> And uh, by Henry Wickenberg, and uh, they started working it pretty heavily for oh about six six years or so, and uh, then due to uh, <coughs> uh, financial troubles and whatnot, they ended up folding, and, and it uh, the mine closed for a little while. Uh, then it uh, changed hands and uh, reopened, and uh, they found a, a good vein, and it. Uh, it was uh, at really active and became a, a small city, Vulture City. And at one point in time, there were as many as, well, they say 5,000 men, women, and children. They brought their families. You see some of the the old houses and, and such over here where they where they would stay. Uh, so it was uh, actually uh, the third largest city 
or uh, community in all of Arizona. And uh, between here and Tucson, there wasn't really very much as far as the Anglo uh, population goes. A lot of Indians living in the area, but because of the vulture, they needed supplies uh, for the animals and for the, for the men and all that. And the, the best place they found to get their supplies from was a little place uh, down in the, in the Gila Valley, which was Phoenix. So that was actually when Phoenix started to grow. And, uh, and so the vulture is really responsible for Phoenix being what it is today. Uh, they also supply that a lot of the gold that came out of the mine went to the, uh, the Union uh, effort in the Civil War. Uh, Henry Wickenburg uh, never really got rich off the mine. He kind of got duped out of some money, and uh, he was not a hard rock miner. He didn't want to actually be in here doing the work, so he sold a major interest to, to uh, another man, and and uh, he kind of never really got paid for for what he did. It was a small amount for what he was actually supposed to get paid for. So uh, when he died. At the age of 86, uh, he <coughs> killed, killed himself. Uh, he basically broke, and uh, so you know the guy that actually discovered the mine has, didn't really play out for him. But a lot of other people did make money off it. Uh, in fact, uh, high grading or stealing the gold was a, a big part of uh, the thing. And they, as you heard in the tour, there are 18 men that were hung at the hanging tree back here for high grading for stealing the gold. Um, let's see, it was closed down in uh, 1942 with uh, President Roosevelt's uh, executive order with World War II <coughs> to stop any uh, mining that was not going to the war effort. So that's actually what, that was what closed the mine for good. It never has reopened. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a man named uh, Jacob Waltz. No. He is the Lost Dutchman, who was, who was named, our chapter's named after him. He worked here in the Vulture, and there is some speculation that the gold that he discovered really was hydrated from here. And uh, so he may have been a clamper, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know how, that's how those clampers like are. So uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'd just like to thank everybody again for, for coming. and. Uh, Appreciate everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the tour. That was, and Marty did a good job on that. What say the brethren? Satisfactory! Satisfactory. And so recorded.